Okay guys, so have you guys been watching my videos, you've been noticing that uh, the shop's extremely busy. And uh, I've got several bays out back that you've seen, and three of them are concreted and a couple aren't. So, um, well the time has come, I had to spend some money, and it looks like today I'm getting some more bays concreted, and we'll be, uh, well, the shop will become one big massive shop here soon. So let's take a, we'll just take a quick glimpse, I'm not going to walk over there and bug the workers, but you can see here what's going on. go there we are in there wow there we go guys see we're concrete and all the rest of the base excellent excellent let's take a look and see what dr dave's uh what dr dave's doing in here oh there's there's dr dave yeah, that's that's about all Dave has to say. <laughs> what, what do you what do you, you know, what do you got going on there, Dave? You're working on 37 37 four doors. Very nice. Yeah. All the noise. That's that that's our newest employee, Lisa, over there. She's working away drilling out Dean's new frames. But yes, we've got a new employee. Yes, we do. And and, and Dave is uh, Dave's got his Looney Tune shirt on. Let's zoom in on that. Front. Back. Can you do, what was that now, front? Front. Yeah. And the back. I see. Yeah. See, so that's the south end of the northbound animals. I think if we go back, there's another video of you saying that. You said that before, Dave. I'm old. I repeat myself, okay? Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, yeah. So what we got here... Oh, shit. That's on video, wasn't it? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those days. We've got another, we got another frame here Dean brought out. Because Dean's frame was a 57, which is totally different in the front horns and at the back. On a 57 Chevy frame, the back end, the, the, the bumper bolts are in a different spot. And on the, on the front, on the front, the horns are in a totally different spot. Yeah, I know spot. I've said this before, too. Oh, here we go. Hang on now. I know I've said this before, too, but I'm wearing my Ryder Lake Rebuilder t-shirt again. Are you trying to sell your shirts on my, on my YouTube time? I sooner just sell pictures of Dr. Dave, you know. Oh fuck. This video is going to be very short because I can only handle him for so long. Anyway, on the, and on the front horns you can see on a 57 they're squared and boxed off. Or this is 55 through 6 Chevy frame or Pontiac. Same thing as long as it's Canadian not American. I think Americans are different than Canadians obviously. So what we got to do is we got to, uh, we got to use this frame. So what's going on here is this frame has no X member so we got to get the X member welded in there today which is, hang on, I'm zooming all over the place here. Here's the X member, we cut it already out of the other frame. Look at the size of that sucker. That's bigger than a, that's bigger than a railroad tie. So we gotta get that, we gotta get that welded in the frame today. And here we are, over here, there we go. So we're gonna put that in the frame and we're good to go. That's what's going on here. Don't the, forget to show that you're expanding. The third, I showed that already. Oh. I showed we're expanding. Wow. The only reason I'm getting those far base concreted is because I'm going to put you out there because I'm tired of being with you now. Otherwise, I'm going now. Then. I'm just done. Well, no, finish the job first. Oh. Finish the job. When can I quit? I'll 68, tell you what. I'll... How old are you now? How old are you now? 64. Well, you're working until you're at least 67 for me. Then we'll negotiate then. God. If you slow down, you're going to get your ass fired. But if you keep up the same pace, well, then you can work to your 70. <laughs> As you get older though, your wages are going to get cheaper because you don't eat as much because you're old and, you're old and feeble and you just live on rice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, there we go. So anyway, so that's what's going on. So Lisa's over there, she's, uh, she's, putting, she's drilling all the holes out and putting the motor mounts in, in for us here. You can see how they go. This is aftermarket motor mounts, normally on the Chevys. They have a, if you guys are familiar, they had that big rubber stud mount that went here. Well, these are the new mounts that you buy that bolt in there. You drill a couple rivets out and they go in. And that's what's going on here today. So, all I got to say is remember, it's always a good time at all time. Big thumbs up. We're not going to let Dave be involved in this one. And I'll see you next time. Bye.